Welcome back to every NES game. I'm Sladner, as always, I'm joined by Manga. Konnichiwa. And this time, it's time for Bionic Commando. Uh, sure. Ooh, narration. <laughs> 198X. The Bads. A distant, far-off future year of 1980X. Huh. You know... Generalissimo kilt. <laughs> <laughs> really? Hmm. Is that who he is? Was Murder Corpse taken? Super Joe. Super Joe! He's the ordinary Joe. He's Super Joe. Okay, but if Super Joe needs rescuing, he can't be, like, that super. Maybe you should just, like, spend your dude- send your special dude to kill General Elisimo Kilt instead. <laughs> yes. Somebody gotta kill him. You're allowed to say that joke. I'm not. Area 1, what a specific location. We rely on you! <laughs> Thank you? No pressure. Yeah. So, quick question. Have you ever heard of Bionic Commando? I have not. Is it a thing I should have heard of? Kind of. It's a pretty well-known, beloved little NES game, actually. Huh. Yeah. Please instruct us! <laughs> so, we have this weird world map, and we have to descend to go to our first level. We only have default equipment so far. So, we gotta go in with that. Now it's time to get back in. Oh, come on! Let's, come on, let's try to get up here, get ourselves. Thank you! No! No! Ugh. And I realized I was already at my last life, so I decided, eh, screw it. <laughs> Just, yeah, fuck it. Going back to the start. Try let's, again. Let's try again. Uh, come on! So, a problem I have is that it's really hard to tell whether you'll, when you do the swinging motion, whether you'll stay on or not. Like, sometimes you will, and sometimes you'll just jump to your death. Like that. And you're just fling yourself into the air. Yeah. Uh. Just wee. Okay, now, this time, hopefully, we can slowly get ourselves up here. Okay, we finally got up here. Let's not die. Let's don't die. Let's don't. Yes! <laughs> I feel like guy's like point blank range and he just manages to shoot directly over your buzz cut instead of in your head. Yes. The more I look at him, the more he just looks like a goofy, goofy character. Like, look at this guy. Like, he looks like, like an old school Green Lantern or something. Honestly, it just reminds me of, like, this knockoff G.I. Joe doll my brother had when we were wee. Like, proper shitty knockoff doll. That's, that's also a decent comparison, actually. And I'm pretty sure either G.I. Joe or Action Man was a shitty knockoff of each other to begin with. Probably. Maybe we can find good weapon we can use. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can see the localizers. We're doing a great job on this. I'm sure they tried their best. Uh, 
I guess that's Does a clue it... that in Area 4 we'll have a flare gun. Cool. Fun. And let's try to get over here. Oh god, now enemies are parachuting through the... What? Through the stone. Wow. That's how that works. And they just keep coming. All the more enemies to kill. Yep. Music's pretty fun in this, actually. Yes, it is. Like, at some point in every one of these, I end up commenting on the music when I have nothing else to say. Yes. But it is actually pretty fun. Head I don't think headbutting the energy wall will do much for you. Yeah. I mean, this is a Capcom game, so I'd be disappointed if the music wasn't good. Exactly. Oh god! That, that is one of the coolest things, is just very quickly using your grappling hook to, to make sure you don't die. <laughs> oh, it feels... you just feel like the jammiest when you pull that off. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm gonna die! No, I'm not! Oh, yes, I am. It's, it's like Crystal Charger down there, instead of spikes, it's weird. Anyway, it seems like the best direction for us to go right now is probably over to the left. Oh, I'm trying to figure out this weird thing with this door, though. It just kind of opens. So, yeah, I think you would go inside, but you really can't. Or at least it closes before you can. It's weird. So it's just weird background animation that does nothing. I guess. By the way... Okay, then. Those little things, uh... Give us, like, uh, extra health. Nifty. But it only in a specific way. It only upgrade. It only upgrades our health, so every time we get a health, enough of these, we get a health upgrade and increase our max health. However, for the most part, it doesn't re-heal our health. It's very odd. How? Oh, oh, look! <laughs> they sent us something. That potion is what heal re-heals us, though. Love it when the military air drops in potions. <laughs> yes. <laughs> These guys are not very good at spotting and shooting you, are no, they? No, not really. So yeah, once again, stupid barrels are in the way, so now we have to uh, go around again. Try to get higher. And there's one cool little thing that... Is that because you can't jump, they make these, like, cool if... Some semi-basic, like, environmental puzzles to try to get around. Like, how will you grapple this time? And I fell again. I have to redo that again! Hooray! I mean, it's nice if they're, if they're like just deliberately making fault puzzles out. Why is that stuck midway up the wall? <laughs> it's nice if they're making like some actual fault puzzles about the environment rather than just making it like unnecessarily confusing. Yes. So, how are we gonna get over there? Just gotta be very careful. There we go. Ninja. And enemies just keep spawning in. Now, thankfully, running into an enemy doesn't hurt us, which is a nice change of pace compared to most NES games, honestly. <laughs> they just have to actually shoot you to hurt you. Yeah, see, that makes sense. Yeah, so you kind of headbutt these guys, but shooting works. Ugh. Oh, and they can throw bombs at you through the energy yes. wall. Pause menu, that L is shows, uh, our life upgrade, and that we need to get... We have 35 currently. If we get 60 of those things, we'll get another health upgrade. Yay. Which is a bit absurd. As you can see, we currently have three life on that thing. And now we have two. God damn it. 
<laughs> so it takes me a while to figure out exactly what to do, so I spend quite a bit of time just shooting enemies, but eventually I figure it out. See this electric thing? Grab him up, shoot yes. the top of it, and it's destroyed. Uh -huh. Never would have thought of that, honestly. Clever. Bye, dude. <laughs> you have no chance! Yeah, the, the order that they render these words in sometimes is a bit like, maybe I should have just started that sentence on the next screen. Yeah. Okay, so we guess we want to just kill this guy. We failed. Let's try again. This time with all our health. Okay. Oh, he's already dead, but it's still going on. Uh, do I have to kill all these soldiers? No, instead... Instead, we have to get up here and destroy this reactor. Mm. So we have a modern military army, uh, a futuristic generator, and magic potions. And that guy's walkie-talkie! <laughs> and of course you've got sunglasses and like perfectly coiffed hair. Yes. So then I'll finally check out, check out a different level. Could go to area 13 but it doesn't seem to go anywhere. We go to area 4. However, when we check out area 4... Oh. What? Meet with enemies and descend! So now we get a- This is- So you get like RPG style random encounters. Yeah, now we get this type of gameplay. A weird top-down thing. Okay then. And our grappling hook this time instead, it does this weird attack to like, confuse the enemies I guess. Come on. And I fell off a cliff and died. BRILLIANT! Well that didn't work out. Brilliant. So, uh, by that point, that would mean I would have to redo everything again, and I was like, no. Nah. We've seen the game now. Yeah, pretty much. Cool little shooter. I will say, while the game was fun, at times it was a little too annoying for its own good. Eh. Uh. Like, like, there were just these little issues, and one big issue being that to get a game over, you have to start all the way from the beginning. Ah, uh, that would be frustrating. But also, like, there's just little things with the grappling hook where it's... It feels very inconsistent when you're swinging, like, around. Because sometimes it'll just stay on the thing, and then sometimes you'll immediately let go. And I couldn't find any consistency in why it does one thing over another. Yeah, especially with, like, the simplicity of the mechanic, it's really got to be like, consistent about how it works. Yeah. Otherwise, though, good-looking game.